Hi everybody, I am Gethin Ellis of GethinEllis.com and in this short video today we are going to discuss whether you should install SQL Server Express or SQL Server Developer Edition when learning SQL Server. Over the weekend I received the following in an email from Ali Ahmad who asked some questions about learning SQL Server. We exchanged a couple of emails so I've boiled uh, boiled his questions down to the most sort of salient points here. So the questions were, his goal is to learn SQL Server inside out. This is for career progression, either as a DBA, a business intelligence developer, or uh, involved in data mining or data science in some way. He's currently a data analyst and wants to learn about data warehousing inside out. He's got an understanding of the concept of relational databases. He's installed SQL Server 2014 Express. He's downloaded the AdventureWorks sample database in order to play with it, but had some issues getting it to attach or restore to the SQL Express instance he's got installed. Uh, and he's trying to use the Microsoft website to learn all about SQL Server and the various applications that sit under it. Uh, and he doesn't really know where to begin. So I'm going to try and answer a couple of these questions here today. The first up is Ali has installed a SQL Server Express edition. Uh, and I'm going to maybe suggest that perhaps if he wants to learn SQL Server inside out, including the business intelligence suite, then SQL Server developer edition, which will be much more useful for him. Now, since SQL, since SQL Server 2016, developer edition has been made available free. Prior to this, there was a charge for a developer license, and it was around about $50, which even back then was probably worth paying. But now it's free, and if you want to learn the SQL Server product inside out, then Developer Edition has all the features of SQL Server. Uh, it's basically Enterprise Edition, except there's some restrictions around where you can use it. So you can't use it in production, for example. For the purposes of learning SQL Server inside out, it's ideal. Now, SQL Express has a very limited set of features and it's got almost no business intelligence applications. Now, there's a, there's a URL that I'll include in the blog post that goes with this video that will compare the, the features of each edition for you to help you make your mind up. But Express is very limited. Developer has got all the features of SQL Server. So if you want to learn the features of SQL Server, Developer Edition is a good place to start. This brings us on to the next question of sample databases. Microsoft have always made their sample databases available via a website called CodePlex. Now earlier this year, on about the 1st of April 2017, Microsoft announced that CodePlex would be closing. And the Microsoft open source tools, such as its sample databases, would be moved to GitHub. CodePlex is available in read-only mode until December this year, so until December 2017 you can still go there and download stuff. After that you'll have to go to GitHub. Now in, in, in the screenshot here, this is the CodePlex page you can get the AdventureWorks database from, and on this page, it, this is the GitHub page for getting the AdventureWorks database. Now, you mentioned you had a backup file of the AdventureWorks 2014 database, so I'm assuming you've got it from CodePlex initially, and you've downloaded the zip file that contains a, an extension called uh, a, a .back extension, an AdventureWorks .back extension. I've downloaded that file, and I've popped it on to my server on a folder on the C drive called Samples. All I need to do then is restore the database. As I've said, I've downloaded the AdventureWorks backup file from CodePlex.com and I've put it in a folder on my C drive. Uh, the folder is called Samples and then it's in a subfolder called AdventureWorks 2014 Full Database Backup. And you can see there we've got the AdventureWorks 2014.back file. Now to get this onto my uh, either instance of SQL Server, it be a developer or Express, all I'm going to do is perform a restore. So I've connected to my instance. My instance is called SQL Server 20, SQL 2017. I'm going to right-click the databases folder. I'm going to go down to restore, and I'm going to choose a device. Then I'm going to click the little ellipsis button here, and I'm going to browse for my folder. So I'm going to click on add, 
and then I'm going to go up I'm going to find on the root of C the samples folder then I've got the AdventureWorks 2014 full database backup I'm going to double click on that and then I'm going to choose the AdventureWorks 2014.back file and I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on OK again. This has got the, uh, the backup in there I'm going to click on the files option here if you want to move the database files and remember each database will have at least a data file and a log file you can do you can click the relocate all files folder and then specify a new location for these files as it is in this case I'm quite happy with the default location and I'm going to click on OK down the bottom here the restore will run database has been restored successfully click on OK and the AdventureWorks database has now been restored to my developer edition. And you can go in and you can view the tables and you can do what you like with that sample database. If you want to learn about SQL Server, you have a number of options available to you. If you can follow the tutorials and articles on MSDN and SQL Server's documentation, which used to be called books online. You can read blogs and articles from other websites such as SQL Server Central and uh, MS SQL Tips and you can read blogs from a range of other uh, clever people that like to blog and write about SQL Server regardless of the area you want, you want to learn about. If you have a budget then you can get yourself booked onto a training course where you will get hands-on instructor-led training where you get to work with the technology in a classroom environment, you can ask the instructor lots of questions and you can really tailor the training to meet your needs. The choice is yours and it really comes down to how you prefer to learn. And obviously you can watch some of my videos as well. Thank you for watching. My name is Gethin Ellis. If you need any help with SQL Server problems, do get in touch and visit our consulting page.